BNB is looking like it's ready to take off. We have been triggered into a long trade, and today we're going to talk about capital preservation before profits. That's right, capital preservation comes first, profits come second. So if you like today's video, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. If you don't know me by now, my name is Jagir. I'm the award-winning author of The Extraordinary New Venture Capital Opportunity, How to Invest Like a Pro, featured in the best-selling book, High Probability Trading Strategies, back in 2008, where I only used to focus on currencies, but now exclusive on cryptocurrency. So let's dive into day number 28 on Follow Me on BNB. All right, for those of you that are in my R15 BNB crypto gym, you would have got a daily workout this morning about this order. There was an order yesterday. We tweaked it this morning, and we got into the we got triggered into the trade this morning, and it looks like a very healthy setup. So the things we want to recap on is the market, the daily momentum is bullish. We got it pointing up. And we are now looking at a four-hour chart, and this is where we're going to manage our trade. So first, let's do a quick recap. We had a bullish reversal on the four-hour. We had a move to the upside, downside, and we went long on a swing high, and our stop loss is on the swing low. And we got triggered this morning. So what we're going to talk about today is how can we use Fibonacci price and Elliott Wave analysis to protect our capital if we're wrong? We want to have two units. Unit one is an insurance policy to say if we're wrong, we want to be breaking even or taking some small amount of profits at this point. And if we're right, we want to give the second unit, the profit unit, enough space to really unfold. And we're going to look at that scenario. And by the way, if you're brand new to Anyway Fibonacci, I've got a masterclass in the link below. If you want to join my Telegram and be a part of my R15 crypto gym, this is the foundation, Elliott Wave and Fibonacci. Take the free masterclass. It's in the link below. we got a lot of good stuff happening at the moment as me as your elite trainer to take your financial health to the next level. So let's look at how we're going to manage this now. Okay, so we've done the hard work. The hard work was looking at this particular entry point. So that part's done. So we've done our setup, done, entry, done. Now we're into trade management. This is post-entry. So what we're going to look at is worst case scenario. So first of all, we've got this movement to the downside, which is relatively impulsive. So after an impulsive move to the downside, what's the minimum that should occur? So if you take my Fibonacci and Elliott Wave course, the, the masterclass at least, you will know that after an impulsive wave, what typically unfolds is a three-wave ABC correction. ABC correction. So we're going to look at a couple of things, two things really. One is what's the typical price? And I've got a couple of price factors here already. But we can do a retracement from this high to this low. And the minimum, typical minimum, because we want to go with probabilities. What's the most common, typical, is this 50%. And then what's the other typical minimum? Well, if we measure this wave over here and project it up from the low, that's what this red line represents. That's also the minimum. So now I've made a note on this chart. And by the way, if you're part of the R15 Crypto Gym, you get access to my live charts where you can view it and you can also bake it into your own trading view so you can see what I'm doing to help you on your journey to grow as a crypto profitable trader who trades consistently. So the note over here was we went long on this swing high. The note over here is our stop loss was on this swing low. And I've put another note here to say manage unit one, which is our insurance position on the four hour chart with the minimum expectation if wrong. And what I mean by if wrong, it's not about being right or wrong, really. Because what we anticipate, why we're we going long on this, if I just zoom out on the four-hour chart and I just get rid of the indicator, what is my anticipation? Well, I'm anticipating a whole new trend to unfold, right? That's what I want to be riding as a surfer, as an Elliott Wave surfer. I want to ride this trend to all-time new highs, compound, take profits at different points, when it's on a five-way sequence, take profits, wait for an ABC correction, and then ride the next trend. This is what I'm looking for. This is what we're going to be patient for. We might have to come in and out of the market a few times, might get stopped out a few times, but this is where the big money is. The big money is made in the big moves, and we need to understand that concept. But on the same note, we also know we have no control over what the market's going to do. All we have control over is get the high probability set up. Once it's in play, we trade without hesitation or reservation and not be reckless in, uh, in terms of property, properly expose your capital. In other words, 1%, 2%, or 3%. If you're brand new and you're just learning the techniques, 1% is more than enough. 2% if you're good and you've got some experience, and 3% max, 3% max. That, that's more on the aggressive side if that suits your nature. So what should we then go? Okay, 
So we've got this five wave sequence at a downside here, but we're going to be even more conservative and focus on this five wave sequence at a downside. But like we said, we're going to be even more conservative because we want to remember Warren Buffett's quote. Have you heard me say that quote? Rule number one, never lose money. And rule number two, never forget rule number one. Well, now we're going to focus on just this part and being conservative. And that's where we got these ratios from. So how do we do this in a practical format now? Because it has to be practical. We can have all the best analysis in the world, but if it's not practical and we can't take practical actions, then it's just a waste of time. It's just a waste of time. So this is the whole concept. It's one of the reasons I created the R15 Crypto Gym to make it more practical. Because what, what's the reason you have a personal trainer in the gym? Was to make sure you're getting the technique of the exercises correct. Make sure you're following the diet and getting the feedback and ultimately getting the results. But it's, it's all a probabilities game. So what are we going to do here? Well, there's no action to be taken, probably for a day. Like, literally, nothing to do. And by the way, R15 stands for results in 15 minutes. And 15 minutes is more than enough time to do what you need to do and then leave the market to do what it's going to do. That's why I like to trade the weekly, daily, four hour, and one hour. Four hour is like where I like to manage my positions. So what I would like to see happen is over the next eight hours, eight to 12 hours, for the momentum to reach the oversold zone, and then ideally, if I go back to the four-hour chart, oh, four-hour chart, ideally with the pattern, what I'd like to see is it to reach this fall, this phase over here. And in the ideal world, you know, we don't live in the ideal world, not all, not all the time, but in an ideal world, I would like to see some type of five-wave structure. And if that unfolds, I will look to exit half of my position at this range over here. And I want a logical point. I want a logical point to move all my stop losses for the full position, unit one and unit two, to break even. How are we going to do that? Well, we always ask ourselves the question, what should the market not do if it's going to unfold? And let's just say the market does this, right? Let's just say it does something like this. You know, because it could, you know, this is what we anticipate is going to happen. Then we ask ourselves, what should the market not do? Well, it shouldn't go below this if this is going to be a microwave too. But also remember, if you've done the Elliott Wave Masterclass, wave four should not trade in the range of wave one. So we could move, and it's not what we're going to do right now because it hasn't happened yet, but we can move our stop losses to at least down here. So it's practically break even. And when logical, over here, especially with unit one, because unit one is your insurance policy. With unit two, we'll probably leave it down here and then manage that position on a daily chart. But right now, we'll leave it down here. So if you like today's content, today was advanced, right? This is the real deal. This is like, you know, when the rubber meets the road, we had this set up. If you're in my crypto trading group, it's a, it's a membership. If you're in my private Telegram and you bought one of my courses, you have an opportunity to join the gym, my crypto gym, getting you into great financial health. You would have seen this set up early this morning before we got triggered. It's roughly around the entry point at the moment as well. And then take my Fibonacci Elliott Wave Masterclass to get yourself upskilled so you can learn what we're talking about. This is high-level real stuff. It's one of the best ways, if not the best way, to read the markets and be two steps ahead with high probability. Momentum, pattern, price, and time. Momentum is the, the lines at the bottom, the stochastics RSI. It's an indicator. We've got price, which is Elliott Wave. So pattern is Elliott Waves, the multiple degrees of counts. That makes more sense when you do the Masterclass. Fibonacci price which is measuring the waves. And there is something a bit more advanced called Fibonacci time, which can be incredibly useful, incredibly useful. In fact, we had a bit of Fibonacci time over here, and um, which is this red line, this red line over here. I basically did this thing called, it's a rhythm zone, this low to low to the next high. So this is the typical range where we should anticipate a minimum ABC, which is around UK time, around 8 p.m. UK time. The next bar will be around 8 p.m. Yeah, 8 p.m., give or take, give or take. So there you have it, there you have it. Today was a good one. So today was day number 28. We're making good profits. We're at 67% win rate, by the way, um, which is amongst, above the elite level, but we haven't ridden any major waves, any of that real major waves. We want to ride those waves where, you know, there's significant gains, three times, four times, five times, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times risk-reward multiples. Now, we don't have control over that. All we've got control over is Identify the high probability setup, trade it without reservation and hesitation with proper risk management, 
and then manage it like a professional, knowing capital preservation is our first objective, and then ride the profit wave, and let's see how far it takes us. And we just want to trail our stop losses. So today, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. This, I used to be in the gym business, so now I'm back in the gym business, the crypto gym business. Let's finish on a quote. The quote of the day today, we'll go with, I'm going to go with chapter five, chapter five. Chapter five is Leonardo da Vinci over here is simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. My job as the trainer is to make things as simple and as practical as possible because there's a lot of noise. There's a lot of noise, a lot of news, a lot of FUD, fear, uncertainty and doubt, a lot of FOMO, fear of missing out. People hate being wrong and they do their best to avoid being wrong. But with trading, if you can park that and say probabilities, we are the casino, we get the edge in our favor and then we trade that edge consistently. And that's the name of the game. All right, take the masterclass. Hopefully, I'll see you in the R15 Crypto Gym where we can make some great profits together and I'll see you for the next workout. And tomorrow is day number 29 for BNB. Follow me. I'll see you then.